Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are back in Yamato. Now I've been hearing a lot of talk out there. A lot of talk. Everybody saying, Yamato's terrible. It's an awful ship. I just got to Yamato and I don't understand why everybody else can do well in it, but I can't. Well, Sunshine, we're going to see if we can't crack the code of what's wrong with your Yamato. Uh, and the, the simple answer is, are you running an accuracy build? If yes, you're on the right track. And are you running concealment mod in your equipment slot? If you're saying no, get that stuff switched over. There are very few ships in this game that you ever want to take and not run concealment mod on. Okay? Third, do you have Arthas by chance? If no, then try to just go for accuracy or hit points or something along those lines and you'll be fine. If you've got Arthas, you've just unlocked an easy button. What do I mean by an easy button? Well, I mean, you're going to be able to get salvos that are absolutely busted. Now, that being said, that just because you have Arthas, I mean, you're just going to be doing an extra 20% damage. I know, it's kind of stupid. But, that just goes to show you, even if you don't have Arthas, you're still going to be getting some of this massive hits that we're going to showcase in this battle right here. Look at this Ohio. Right out the gate, he shoots at us. We're already angled away, so we're not worried about him. We take the shot and wait for it. Look at that accuracy, looks good. Right before it hits, we go ahead and hit the Arthas button for an extra 20% damage, and yeah. Ohio, 58,000 damage for Salvo. That wasn't bad. Let's see if we can't keep going. That's three Citadels. Schlieffen decides that, you know, what the Ohio does, it'll do better. So he does the same thing. Looks pretty solid. Shells are on the way. Arthas still up for the moment, and right about the time Arthas goes down, the shells land, and unfortunately, he must have gotten angled just enough that he dodged most of those shells. Now, I'm going to start to turn back in towards the enemy here. Obviously, if you're making the opening turn, one of the number one problems that everybody makes when they make that opening turn is not expecting people to shoot them. Always expect that you're going to be spotted in the opening turn. Always. And make sure you're reversing, or not reversing, but like angling away when it happens. That way, when the shells come in, most of the... Oh my god. No. <gasps> Wait for it. Shot out. Unfortunately, we don't have Arthas, but look at that accuracy, folks. The longer range looks beautiful, and... Oh my god, that's death. Bonk. <laughs> oh no. If only I had Arthas. <laughs> so that shot didn't get Arthas to give me an extra 20% damage, and we took almost everything that man had. So in really two whole salvos, we're up to 128,000 damage. You know, the Yamato seems pretty bad to me. I don't know about y'all. It seems pretty terrible. I don't know why anybody would want to play this ship. Uh, I, I just don't get it. So uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and take another shot. This Marlboro is just kind of sitting here begging for it, so why not? We'll take the shot, and they spread out a lot on this shot. And none of them hit a citadel. That's unfortunate. Now watch what happens next, folks, because we're not done yet. We do have Arthas back, and this Worcester is absolutely begging for it. So we're going to turn towards the Worcester, get our guns ready to go, fire the guns, and go ahead and hit the uh, Arthas button on this one, folks. Bonk. 20% <laughs> more damage is busted. I don't understand why they thought that was a good idea. But we'll take it. And just like that, we're at 179,000 with seven citadels. Yeah, why Why is the Yamato so bad? I don't understand it. Like, I, I just don't get it. Now, obviously, um, we take a shot at the uh, Marlboro, and of course, that's when the Alaska decides that he needs to die, right? Like, there is something in this game that is like a guarantee that your teammates will shoot the guy the moment you fire. Not before. But the moment you fire your guns, when you commit to finishing off an opponent, that's when the enemy, that's when the rest of your team will shoot him. Guaranteed. 100%. It, every single time, it never fails. 
If you go to finish off somebody because you waited, 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 they're still alive, you're like, okay, I guess I'll do it myself. You take the shot, guarantee they will kill him. 100% of the time. Now, Curve First out here is just on the edge of my range. I'm not expecting to get much here, but you miss all your shots you don't take. You've heard me say it 100 times. He takes a nasty hit from somebody, and we're going to go ahead and see if we can't slap him as well. Now, the Daring has reversed course. Now, the reason I reversed course initially was because I was worried about the Daring. He already torqued me once, right? Got me right on the snoot. Right on the snoot. So, uh, we had to back off. Now, our Alaska has decided at this point, you know, radar, you know, sitting in his spawn and, and then just moving forward and then and, and getting torped and shot by everything in the lobby. It, it wasn't enough, so now he radars. Um, but, you know each their own. I'm going to try not to save the guy, but to get the home run hit here on the Schlieffen. I'm not going to lie. This Schlieffen is begging for it. Now, I just saw the torpedoes go away from that uh, that daring, right? Like, we just saw the daring's torpedo. Except we didn't. I think those were sh those were the uh, torpedoes from the Schlieffen. And uh, so we nose around the corner don't want to go too crazy here obviously we know that our cheek is very vulnerable i don't want to shoot the brisbane game look at this next shot there is nothing in this world that should protect this man from death here but it does i don't understand it any other time i shoot a broadside schlieffen at this kind of range with anything it dies now i get triple fire because there's a destroyer sitting in a smoke screen shooting me and while i do recognize this i also forget the fact that i'm in a i'm in a yama so the damage controls don't really last that long in terms of damage control um, invulnerability. So we're going to reverse, try to get around the corner, you know, limit who can shoot us. And oh no. Okay, well, time to get skinny. We're not we're not done yet, folks. Come on. Ah, we took a torp. Dang it. We almost dodged those torpedoes in the army. But I almost is not quite enough, and unfortunately, I do not have propulsion mod on, so getting this thing to go around the corner before I flood to death, probably not going to happen. You can see I go ahead and hurry a shot around, trying to get a shot through the island. It's not going to happen. Um, but, yeah, we tried. Uh, fortunately, our buddy in the Schlieffen moved up on the right side. He gets rid of the couple guys that were over there. The Brisbane is killing our Frederick de Grossa. Our Schroeder is... God, I don't know what the Schroeder's doing all the way back there. I'll be real honest. He clearly didn't get the memo that that thing is not a sniper. <laughs> that thing has the worst armor piercing on the planet. And its HE isn't much better. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, we end up going down. That was a stupid play by my part. I, I wanted to get the home run there. Because, you know, it's a broadside schleif and it's a guaranteed kill a lot of times. I mean, you've seen me do it up close and personal with the Ohio, with the Montana, like with the Yama. I, I've done it so many times. And yet, for this one... The game said no. Now, here's the next question. Would I have died in that situation if I had just kept going? I think I wouldn't have. If I would have just came around the corner and just went for it, I think I'd probably survive that and, and end up just getting stupid amounts of damage. Because I wouldn't have been sitting there eating the torpedoes from the destroyer. The destroyer wouldn't have been able to shoot me. Right? I'd have been around the corner from him. And then, on top of that, not just that, I I assumed that those battleships were smarter than they were. And I was always, I'm always hesitant to push with a Yama because cheek shots exist. And coming around a corner, I mean, how many times have I showed it on my channel when a Yama comes around a corner, what happens to it, right? <laughs> but uh, I've, got a, I've got something funny to point out here. Now watch what happens next. The rear turret of the Schlieffen is a 360 degree turret. Right? It can it can fire anywhere. Which means it's almost always where you need it when you need it. Now there is a Tulsa sitting over there firing his guns that has no hit points. And this Schlieffen is bow tanking a Borgonia. And instead of shooting the Brisbane out there, or the Tulsa, he is shooting the bow of a freaking Borgonia. Now watch what he does next. And this is mind-boggling to me. It actually got me to go into the thing and say, Dude, why not just use your guns to shoot the Tulsa? Right? Shoot the Tulsa, shoot the Brisbane, but he is like not having it. He turns all the way over, gets himself the torpedoes away, because you know that you got to get those torps off. Am I right? So, and he's still shooting the Bergonia instead of shooting either of the two cruisers, which would be a much easier kill for him. I don't understand. And then he shoots the rear turret at the Bergonia. Again, what? <laughs> what, are, what are we doing, folks? 
Uh, you got teammates. They're in a good position to attack the Bergonia. Why not just use your guns in that situation and get rid of the DPM that's murdering you? The Bergonia wasn't doing that much damage to them. It was literally the cruisers. You had the, the uh, Brisbane out there and you had the uh, Tulsa. They were doing all the damage. But I just thought that was a funny moment. Had to point that out for you guys just so you guys could see. It's like, you got to pay attention and prioritize targets, guys. Sometimes you gotta just let the battleship sit there and bow tank it and then and then use your guns to help like whittle away everybody else. Right? You got to, sometimes. But uh, Conqueror is very healthy. We've got a Schroeder behind him. We've got uh, Alaska here in the middle as well. Our Clubbears over here. Um, slowest torpedo on the planet just whizzed past the Conqueror. And this game is all but wrapped up when the Bergonia finishes. So Bergonia's down. Wait for it. I said the Bergonia's down. Thank you. Bergonia's down. He actually burns to death from the Schlieffen. Fair enough. Flesh wound for the for the Schlieffen. But, uh, yeah. The next thing is a little bit baffling because, again, it points to a little bit of tunnel visioning from the uh, Conqueror here. You can see the torpedoes coming by you, right? Like, you know there's a destroyer here. But uh, he's not going to hold his fire. He's going to he's gonna fire his guns. Destroyer does get spotted. He's five kilometers in front of this Conqueror. And then the Conqueror does the unthinkable and turns out to make him easier to torpedo. I, uh, I don't know, but he gets the rear turrets away and uh, he, he fails to hit the, the daring and almost turned right into the path of those torpedoes. I have no idea where those torps were heading. I, I don't know who that guy thought he was torping there, but unfortunately, that's the guy that managed to land a, a torpedo on me. Um, so, who am I to question him? But, but anyway, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. This has been a fun little little game. Just a, a nice little raffle stomp. Took the, took the Yama out tonight and just beat the crap out of everybody tonight. I had so many 150 plus K games. I mean, Yama was on a tear tonight. So, do I think the Yama's bad? No. I think people just need to learn to use it. It's got great armor as long as you don't go broadside. Pay attention to who's shooting at you. May it know where your destroyers are at. It's really not that difficult. The biggest thing you got to worry about the Yama most of the time is that limited damage control immunity. It only lasts about 10 seconds, okay? So make sure that you don't use that damage control until you're not going to take another flood or fire. Because if you do it too soon... The amount of times that I've gotten hit with a torpedo immediately upon that 10 seconds running out is is annoying. So keep that in mind. Now, I got to give it to the Club Bear here. He's using AP. Thought he could get a little bit of Brisbane Citadel action. And it looks like it is working. But uh, you can only get away with so much when a Brisbane's shooting at you. It's a Mino with AG. You can't exactly angle against it, right? And uh, the Brisbane is doing what Brisbane do. But uh, the teammates are doing their job. They're trying to kill him as quickly as possible. The, uh, the Club Bear should have, when he realized that this Brisbane was going to angle, uh, he should have switched to HE. But by the time he realizes what's gone wrong, he's, he's headed back to port. But he does get six torpedoes out. And, uh, of course, in true, true destroyer fashion, he launches a widespread torpedo at a cruiser. And the cruiser is border humping, and he's going to go forward. And you know this guy's running his sonar, right? Like it, you guarantee he is. But uh, he's gonna he's gonna turn nice and skinny to where the torpedoes are coming from. He almost turns back into this torpedo, but as you'll notice, the torp didn't have enough range. Sadness. But Schroeder finishes him off anyway. Anyway, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Is the Yama bad or are people bad? Take your time, learn how to play the ships that you're playing, and enjoy them. Yama, fantastic, top of the leaderboard, 219k, and we could have gotten a heck of a lot more if I wasn't a potato. So let me know what you guys think, and if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.